Okay, Salt students, we're going to talk about how to start um, with our uh, totem pole sculpture. And so you'll each be getting a slab of clay like this. Um, on your table, you should have a bowl of water with a toothbrush in it. Um, and then a little bit of vinegar because this is what we're going to use to join our seams. Your tools, um, you'll want a little shish kebab stick. That's what we use to make our cuts. Um, and I also have a serrated rib here. Um, I only have a few of these, so, and I may not even need it, but um, I have it just in case. As always, our best tool is really our hands. We can use those for a lot of things. Um, there are a variety of different templates that I have cut out for you. Uh, for squares, for rectangles, for cylinders, there's a really long one. Um, and then I also have some triangular shapes for pyramids. And so I'm going to use a pyramid um, today for my demonstration. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is lay out my template like this. All right. And then I'm very lightly going to trace it with my uh, wooden tool here, my cutting tool. Um, and the reason that I'm just tracing it is because I want to make sure I can fit as many as possible on my slab of clay um, and to avoid any waste since I'm doing triangles I can just line this bottom edge up and save myself a cut because I can use that edge as the bottom on two separate pieces okay so I'm cutting this all right so that is the shape that I have um, I'm going to start the bottom is going to be a straight cut, and if you remember yesterday, we talked about bevel cuts and straight cuts. So my cutting tool is perpendicular to my slab of clay. These cuts right here are going to be beveled cuts, so instead of straight down, I want my cutting tool angled a little bit. All right, preferably at about a 45 degree angle. And so I'm going to start right here. You can see my hand is kind of slanted, and I'm just going to pull, follow my line, I'm pulling my cutting tool all the way down that edge, and I'm going to do the same thing over on this edge, keeping it at a 45 degree angle, following that line that I lightly drew onto my slab of clay. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing over on this side. Keeping my cutting tool at that 45 degree angle. Okay, and I've got one more cut here. So I'm going to And the nice thing about working with clay is if you ever do make a mistake, all we have to do is wedge our clay back up and we can start again. Okay, now these pieces of clay right here I'm going to keep because um, <clears throat> those can be reused. So right here I have two, and if I'm doing a triangular shape, I'm going to need one more of these, but for the sake of this video I'm just going to kind of review so these are my two bevel cuts, and they're going to come together like this, okay? And eventually, I will have a third piece on this side, okay? But right now, let's just go ahead, and I'll show you how we're going to join these. So this is a bevel cut. I am going to use my toothbrush and a little bit of vinegar. Vinegar is acidic. And I don't know the chemical reasons why, but it really helps the clay stick together. So I'm just going to briefly or gently add a little bit of vinegar in my toothbrush on that beveled edge to help me join them. It's kind of a really easy way to create a slip. got those edges and right now I'm just using this hand 
and I'm compressing. We learned about that word from our video yesterday that we watched with Lisa Naples. I think her name is Naples. She's a fabulous artist. Okay. So I'm really, really, really joining that edge well. Okay. Now I'm going to look on the inside. That's what the inside of my seam looks like. And to make sure that this seam is reinforced, I'm going to put a coil of clay in there just to reinforce it. Um, but I need a temporary support to hold this edge up. So I'm going to use some of my leftover clay. I'm going to put it this way so that you can see better. And I'm just going to make a little, and all i got to do is kind of pound it on the table. And I'm just creating a support that way. So now, with another piece of my leftover clay, I'm going to roll out a small coil of clay. And I'm not going to worry if it's a little bit too long, because I can always cut off the excess. So I'm going to use this. Okay, once again, I'm going to get a little bit of vinegar, kind of roughen up that edge a little bit with my toothbrush. Okay, I'm trying to open this a little bit so you can see better without pulling it apart. Um, and I don't want to come in past this beveled edge. So right below it, right where that bevel starts, I'm going to gently... Press this in. I want to be careful here because sometimes you can get an air bubble trapped in there. So I just kind of gently start at one end, reinforce that seam. Okay, and then this is my straight edge, so I'm just going to cut it off there. Okay. And that's a really, really good way to reinforce that edge. And if I'm worried about air bubbles, I can put a couple holes in there just so if there is trapped air, it can escape. So poke in a few gentle holes like that. Got this. Now once this dries and it gets a little bit stronger or leather hard, I can go ahead and um, smooth it out even a little bit more. Now I'm going to do the same exact thing to add my third edge. So I'm going to put this over to the side there. Sorry about that. Kind of hard under this camera to get everything in there. And I have one more piece that I want to cut. So I'm going to cut this end, and just for time shape sake, I'm going to go ahead and do my, my bevel here. You'll notice on the other one I just I outlined my shape first because I was trying to make everything fit, but since I only have one more, I can go ahead and do that on this. Okay, so here's my third side to my prism. I'm going to take my vinegar water again. I'm going to rough up this edge on both sides. My clay is still pretty wet. Um, I'm going to put my prism right here. And I probably, whoops, should go ahead and I'm going to Add just a little bit of vinegar and use my toothbrush to kind of roughen up that edge a bit. Okay, I'm going to take this one and gently, there's no need to hurry here. Better to take your time and do a really good job the first time. So that it all 
fits together nicely. Okay. And I've got one more seam here. Compressing these edges and making sure I've got them together. Okay. So there is my triangular prism. This is what it looks like on the inside. Okay. That's where I reinforced the seam. And so now that I have all three edges on, I'm going to go back and I'm going to add two more coils of clay on these edges right here and right here. I already have one in there. You can see that, but these don't have them. So I'm going to add a couple more coils there. Um, once this gets leather hard, I can go back with my finger, maybe a little bit of water, just make sure everything is perfectly smooth. Remember, we want to finish our surface while the clay is wet. If you do a really good time job building, there's no need to ever really have to sand, okay? We want to avoid having to work with that dry clay dust as much as possible. So let's take our time and really finish our pieces while they're wet. So then all we have to do once it comes out of the bisque fire is glaze it. Okay, so that's what you're going to do.